In this video, we'll go a little deeper into the front-end development frameworks used in LifeRay. At LifeRay, we use a design language called Lexicon. It provides a common framework for building interfaces within LifeRay. Lexicon takes a module approach using the atomic design methodology. This gives a more hierarchical and organized structure to the creation of interface design systems. Lexicon isn't an implementation, but it's a set of patterns, rules, and behaviors that really any library can implement. Lexicon gives a number of principles in order to keep a consistent design. These principles cover accessibility, animations, color, grid structure, responsiveness, topography, and writing style. The library created by LifeRay to implement Lexicon design is called Clay. Clay is a SaaS-based extension of Bootstrap using CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. Here's an example of two cards created using Clay. Clay has some built-in JavaScript to affect its own components, but oftentimes you'll need JavaScript to change your site in other ways. Within LifeRay, developers can use JavaScript in a number of ways. Adding global JavaScript in your theme, adding JavaScript to platform templates and fragments, as well as creating custom JavaScript modules using the following frameworks. Standard JavaScript, Angular, React, Vue.js, or Metal.js. LifeRay provides a few out-of-the-box JavaScript libraries for you. Metal.js is a foundation for creating UI components that automatically respond to data when it's updated. Developers who are familiar with React will find that Metal.js is similar in many ways. jQuery is a long-standing and well-known library that's used for manipulating the DOM, handling events, animations, and making Ajax calls simple. In addition, Lodash is provided but not enabled by default. If you'd like to use Lodash, you can enable it in the control panel. There are a few other ways that you can provide a JavaScript library to LifeRay. For owned libraries, before loading it to the browser, you'll need to configure it so that it supports the universal module definition. For browser-loaded third-party libraries, you can add the script tag and the LifeRay loader along with the library URL. If you have a hosted library, name the library in the define function, remove the UMD wrapper, and configure your module's build task to run the config.js modules task over that library. FreeMarker is the template language used in all of the front-end templates in LifeRay. These templates include templates and theme modules, web content templates, application display templates, layout templates, and workflow email notification templates. Within FreeMarker, you can use HTML just like any other HTML file. But FreeMarker provides a number of other useful constructs, like variables, arithmetic, logical operators where you can check both and or, sequence slices, you can include other FreeMarker files, comments, if else and else if statements, as well as macros and tag libs. Time for another knowledge check. Feel free to pause the video and then we'll come back and check the answers. Lexicon is a design language that provides a common framework for building interfaces within the LifeRay product ecosystem. Clay is LifeRay's web implementation of the Lexicon experience language, which is built on a bootstrap foundation, translating less to SAS. It's made up of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And developers can use JavaScript on the platform in the following ways. Adding global JavaScript through themes, adding JavaScript to platform templates and fragments, and creating custom JavaScript modules. That's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.